I'm Sharon and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Violin Miss. Today is the last day! Woohoo! Today's video is how to sight read. First question, what is sight reading? Sight reading is being able to play a piece of music on sight, which means you have no preparation at all. You just receive a piece of sheet music in front of you and someone tells you that you need to play it and you look at it for the first time and you're like, well, guess I gotta play it. There are a lot of different reasons that you might need to sight read something. One big one is that sight reading is a huge thing at auditions, such as state orchestra or national orchestra auditions. They'll typically ask you to play some scales, a piece, and sight read. Sight reading is also important for when you're learning a new piece, if you're just at home and you're looking at a piece for the first time, or if you're an orchestra and you haven't looked at the piece at all, so you're just trying to fake it to the best of your ability. We've all been there. When you're looking at a piece of music for the first time, the first things that you want to look at, preferably in this order, are time signature, key signature, the tempo marking, and any difficult rhythms or notes that you kind of can skim and see coming up. So the way I think of it when I'm sight reading something is I look at the left portion of the staff line and I look at all those things there, like the key signature, the time signature, and then I look at the tempo marking. So that cluster of things, that's what you want to tackle first. The time signature is going to tell you what the beat is like. The key signature is going to tell you how many flats or how many sharps. It's also going to help you identify the key of the piece. One bit of advice is that if you want to add a bit of musicality to your sight reading, you can identify the key. If it's a major key, then likely the song is going to be a happier or more upbeat type of passage. On the other hand, if the piece is in a minor key, then you might want to play the piece in a more sad way. You might look at the time signature and then you might look at the key signature and be like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to play this. But then once you look at the tempo marking and it says adagio, you're like, okay, I think I can play this. I think I can manage this. So if you see a difficult key signature, then make sure you take a look at the tempo marking. Because normally the sight reading in these auditions is never going to be too incredibly difficult, unless you're playing at a very advanced level and you're going to an advanced audition. After you figure out the time signature and the key signature and the tempo marking, then you can start skimming the music and seeing if there's any difficult rhythms that are coming up. When you're at an audition, you have a limited amount of time to look at the music. So they'll typically have a timer and they'll say, okay, you have one minute to skim this section and then sight read it. So you need to have a plan going into that audition. Getting better at sight reading is all about practice. The more you practice, the more you know these are the things that I need to tackle first on my list. After you take a look at all of those things, if you have extra time, if your timer hasn't gone off yet, then you can do what's called shadow bowing. Shadow bowing is where you place your bow right here in the nook of your elbow, like this. Put your violin up and then just start to play the piece. So you're kind of practicing a little bit without actually playing it. Let's say I'm playing Twinkle Twinkle, so it's gonna look a little like this. Bum 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 bum. It's practicing, but maybe like 50% practicing. If you're running out of time, but you still have a little bit of time to shadow bow, I would really encourage you to at least shadow bow the first measure or two, and then shadow bow some of the more difficult measures that you identified earlier. That's going to make the most out of your time at an audition. When you're at home, you don't have these constraints, but of course, if you want to practice sight reading quickly, then you can place a timer yourself. That's it for my tips, and that's it for Violin Miss. I want to thank you all for watching these videos. I know not all of them are going to be relevant to you, but I hope that at least some of them are. If you're watching this video, but you're not a musician and you just want to support me, then I freaking love you. Thank you so much. That's it for Violin Miss 2020. I hope you have an amazing Christmas and an amazing new year. You all deserve it. I deserve it. And take care of yourself. Take some time to relax during this Christmas holiday season and recover from 2020. Stay safe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.